<laughs> Welcome back to the Morning Wrap. We're having so much fun today. Um, it's time for our Pet of the Week. So joining me right now is our guest, Kevin McManus from the Pasadena Humane, an animal shelter that provides dedicated care and new beginnings for thousands of our community's most vulnerable animals every single year. And I just asked you, who do we have here? Little Mickey. Yeah, Mickey. Mickey, six-year-old pit bull mix. Um, I, yeah, you know, as you can tell, I try to bring the most excitable dogs here. <laughs> so uh, here we go, Mickey. This is, yeah, he's such a chill guy. Um, and well, that's what I love about senior dogs in general. Like, he's, oh, hey now. No, Whoa, he doesn't like, like the, the camera. camera. Oh, that's okay. You know, it's a, it's, it's. He's not used to it, so it's yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, you know, he is a grumpy old man. See, I wasn't lying. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like you said you bring the most excitable dogs or whatever, but I think a lot of the times people at home or just people in general they think about how um, you know adopting oh, a furry friend isn't necessarily right, is going to you know you're, they're going to have a hyper dog or something like that. Yeah. So this is good for someone who you know doesn't really want something that's a little bit a little hyper exactly um i mean i i probably mentioned this before i have a 15 year old dog at home mm -hmm. and she just likes to putter around and you know that's kind of i mean for what i'm looking for in a pet like an ideal like i don't want to be out running marathons with my dog <laughs> um, and so many people who mm -hmm. are looking for you know just like a best friend like yeah. a chill companion like a senior dog would be perfect and yeah. i think you know mickey's definitely as long as you don't have a lot of cameras around yeah. the house <laughs> we know his likes and dislikes and that's that's Aww, one of you're them okay, buddy. um tell me a little bit about the adoption process process and what someone should should know. Yeah, well, we um, are still doing mostly adoption po uh, by appointment at the mm -hmm. shelter. So the best bet um, for, you know, if you're looking is to go to our website, which is PasadenaHumane.org. Okay. Um, you can find a link to view all of the pets um, and make an adoption appointment. During the appointment, the adoption counselor is going to spend a lot of time talking about the dog or cat or mm -hmm. guinea pig or hamster you're interested in, uh, but also kind of, you know, going over your lifestyle and making sure it's the best fit possible. And you also have an adoption event happening. Yeah, very yeah, exciting. Um, on Saturday mm -hmm. uh, from 10 to 2 this at Saturday? the shelter. This Saturday? Okay. Um, at the shelter, um, free adoption. So dogs, cats, kittens, um, hamsters, guinea pigs, etc. <laughs> um, no charge, no appointment necessary that day. Um, so come early and, and, yeah, adopt your best friend. Do you have any updates on the pets that you've brought before? Yeah, well, we, we uh, so the last one I brought, um, mm -hmm. Azrin, she is still available. Mm -hmm. She was out in a foster home for a little bit. Did really well um, and Yolanda believe it or not who I brought months and months ago is breaking my heart she still hasn't found her forever oh, home oh no that's She's Yolanda so, look yeah. at your screen right now look at that little cutie patootie we still have her information up on our website but take a look at your screen she's amazing Mickey's amazing I mean all the all the little ones that you bring in are just so yeah. so great and they're so chill yeah, yeah yeah I mean I I do have a soft spot for seniors so <laughs> <laughs> that helps so this is great though um yeah. we ran out of time already but thank you so much for being here um Thanks. we love Mickey and we wish Mickey the best hopefully you find your forever home and again we have all the information on the other uh, pets that we featured for pet of the week up on our website too so please go through them and please check them out because we'd love to find them their forever home you can go to kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.